At 7 tomorrow morning, teachers plan to picket at Little Rock School District schools in a coordinated strike against the state's plan for the future of the district. Also tomorrow, the State Board of Education meets to talk about LRSD reconstitution. It's the first chance to change the draft framework released last month of how the state plans to return control, since some schools within the district are still failing standards. The district has been preparing for this for weeks and says it has enough substitutes to carry out lesson plans. It hosted a big hiring event two weeks ago, but... Questions abound over whether those substitutes have gotten background checks and whether they've been properly vetted. A strike like this has only happened once before in the Little Rock School District. A lot of people, especially parents, just don't know exactly what to expect. And some of, of the, the some of the people in the district are, are on the fence, actually, about this issue. And THV 11's Roly Hoyt explains an alternative set up by union supporters. Yeah, Craig and Marlisa, the district says that the substitutes and administrators have all been vetted and are ready. So send the kids to school. But if you want to support the teachers, about a dozen community safe spaces will be staffed by volunteers. Well, this is, yeah, this is a definitely a, a special, unique situation. So unique, it's only happened once before in 1987. The writing is on the wall. Little Rock teachers will go on strike tomorrow morning, picketing outside the 40 schools in the district. Kids can cross the pickets or try an alternative. We have several libraries and community centers and faith communities who have opened up their doors. On a normal day, kids hanging out at the library while class is in session would lead to trouble, but Thursday won't be normal. The district, the city, and the library system have all agreed these are public spaces, though keep in mind that space is limited. This space here is what an alternate classroom is going to look like on strike day. At the Clinton Children's Library, there's space here for about 30 kids, a kitchen to keep them fed, and an entire library to keep them occupied. We've had a lot of very positive response from the community wanting to support the teachers. Um, they're happy to open their doors and provide a safe space for our kids. But the district reminds everyone these places will not be drop-off locations for unattended children. To compare those options with what the district will have, a lawsuit got some of those numbers made public this afternoon. Judge Wendell Griffin ordered the work stoppage plan released for this evening. This will benefit Little Rock School District parents in determining what they should do with their children tomorrow when those documents are released two hours from now. Fast forward to now, Nolan should have that paperwork by now and we assume he's sifting through it. Coming up at the bottom of the hour, you will hear from him directly about what he's found. He and his wife will be a part of our extended coverage coming up on 630 Central. We'll have Superintendent Mike Poor and two teachers as well. They all join Don Scott as we prepare for another important day in the Little Rock School District.